High dentist its piece care. In this video, we will going to discuss about DFG, that is direct filling gold. In examination, we can expect a five mark question from this topic. First, starting with gold, as we all know, gold is a noble metal and it rarely undergo tarnish. In pure form, it is very soft because of its two properties that are malleability and surface chemistry. It can be welded together unique characteristic of gold is that we can weld it at room temperature that is it can be cold welded application of dfg pit and small class 1 association for repair of casting margins for class 2 class 5 and class 6 restorations and in repair of cement vent holes and perforation in gold crowns it is contraindicated in teeth with large pulp chambers because gold is a metal. In severe periodontally weakened teeth, handicapped patients and root canal filled teeth. From this topic, question can come as define DFJ and classify it. Types of DFJ based upon physical form and manufacturing process. Foil it is of further type as sheet, ropes, cylinders, laminates, platinized. Second type is electrolytic precipitate. It is of type as matte, matte foil, gold, calcium alloy. Third type is granulated gold, also called as uncapsulated powder. A short note can be expected on gold foil. Gold foil is the oldest of all products available and it is manufactured by beating gold into sheets. They are available as flat square sheets in booklets which contain 12 sheets per booklet and they are further numbered based upon their weight grade. Sheets can be cutted and rolled and they are compressed into pellets or cylinders. Foils are available as preformed cylinders or ropes. The number of sheets they can be placed upon one another and to form laminated coal foil. Cohesive and non-cohesive coal. In practice, only sheet foil is furnished. The difference between cohesive and non-cohesive coal is just in the presence of external surface layer. As we all know, every metal or substance attracts something towards it. Same does the coal. Coal attracts gases towards it and the gas film is produced on its surface which prevents cohesion of individual increments. To overcome this, the manufacturers supply gold free of surface contamination that is called as cohesive gold and in a process, manufacturers apply ammonia over the surface of gold and why that it get protected and that is called as protective film. That ammonia treated foil is called as non cohesive gold, and this layer is removed by heating. Second type is electrolytic precipitate. In this, by the process of electrolytic precipitation, crystalline gold powder is formed, which have dendritic crystalline structure, and further, this powder is processed by heat fusion or sintering into different shapes. Matte gold. In this electrolytic precipitate is sandwiched between two layers of foil. Matte foil gold in this a sandwich of electrolytic precipitate powder is between the number sheet of gold that we have discussed. In this number three gold foil is used. Alloyed electrolytic precipitate in this calcium is added which increases the hardness and strength. Most important question from this topic is a short note on annealing and degassing or a direct note on degassing of DFJ. Manipulation of DFJ, it has three processes as degassing, compaction and finishing. Desorbing or degassing, as we have discussed the difference between cohesive and non-cohesive gold. Even though the most of the gold that the dentist receive is cohesive in nature, but during storage or packing, it absorbs gases from the atmosphere, which will prevent the fusion of coal. To overcome this, we heat the coal 
before placing it into the cavity this process of heating and by this removal of gases occur is called as degassing or desoaping degassing can be done by two ways as electric annealing or flame desoaping in electric annealing a higher temperature of 340 to 370 degree celsius is used and it is done for approximately 5 to 20 minutes the problem here comes that the pellet they stick to each other the air current affects the uniform heating of the foil and they can undergo over sintering and there is greater exposure to the contamination difficult to anneal appropriate amount of coal and the size selection is limited in flame degassing alcohol is preferred than that of gas because there is less danger of contamination advantage is the availability of selected size is more and there is desorption of selected pieces only less danger of over sintering and there will be less chances of contamination compaction means condensing in this gold can be condensed by hand mallet pneumatic vibratory condensers electrically driven condensers hand mallet means shiny thoda in earlier times it is entirely done with mallets nowadays condensers are used original foil condensers have a pyramidal shaped face but currently the available condensers have small pyramidal cessation on the face these cessations act as sewagers and by that they exert later forces on the inclines in addition to provide direct compaction forces short note can come on compaction methods of dfj mechanical condensers in this the vibration produced either by air or electrically are used for the condensation of dfj advantage is that they it is faster and more comfortable for the patient finishing same as that in case of amalgam we fill the cavity slightly more and with the use of explorer or probe we test for the compaction and to eliminate any void if it penetrate easily then it needs more condensation this is removed by using gold foil or burrs surface is burnished with ball burnisher and final polish is given with gold polishing kits or soflex disc there is a practical point which my teacher always says uh, that if you want a good restoration then do it in increments so it is composite dfj or amalgam this cavity preparation filling in increments compacting and then finishing and at the end polishing properties stand it is greater in the dense area and weaker in the porous zone hardness it indicates overall quality of compacted gold there will be reduced hardness if there are porosities density will be less than that of the pure gold that is less than 19.3 g per cm3 because it is practically impossible to eliminate all the voids completely and effect of voids if there are more voids then there are more chances of plaque accumulation and there are chances of secondary caries and it is the pulp response is minimum and it is resistant to tarnish and corrosion advantages and disadvantages starting with disadvantages firstly because it is non aesthetic and it is have a higher coefficient of thermal conductivity cause of which we cannot use this in large pulp hall cavities it is difficult to manipulate absolutely because it involves a lot of process and a lot of steps which involves the degassing and compaction especially advantage is it it is tarnish and corrosion resistance have good mechanical properties and is biocompatible this is all about this topic thanks make sure to share the knowledge with your friends and keep supporting